What's going on everyone? Ryan Lawrence, Nashville Cats Fishing. Today we're out here, we are in New Madrid, Missouri. Um, we're fishing for the Cabela's King Cat Tournament that is out of Cape Girardeau. The only problem we're having in today, uh, hold on to get the boat out of here, is the river is extremely low. So they've actually extended boundaries. So we're on the farthest boundary you can launch at, which would be New Madrid at City Park. And uh, we're just going to do some looking out here. We can only go upriver from here for the tournament. Um, unfortunately, we cannot, well, the ramp's not accessible to launch out of Cape Girardeau. So we're looking for other ramps. We've had some problems finding any. I know this ramp's good. That's why I came here today. We're going to take a, take a peek around, see what we can come up with. And then uh, we're going to head on up to Cape Girardeau tonight. And we there's a ramp up there we're going to look at and try to launch there tomorrow and look up that way. So stay tuned. Maybe we can find some fish today. So we made a long trip up here to where that little area we're gonna fish at. So we're basically gonna start off in 40 foot of water and drop down into 60 and see if we can't pick anything up. So this weekend's gonna be a little bit different as in it's been 95 to 100 degrees for three months straight and today uh, today a cold front came through. It's 70 degrees right now, hence the hoodie. You know, and the wind's the wind's moving pretty good today. It's it's uh it's about 10 to 20 coming out of the northeast, which I hate northeast winds, but basically everything's stacked against today pre-fishing. You gotta deal with the wind, you got uh, the direction, the cold front had come through, so you know I don't know, you know, I don't have high hopes for today. You know, if we can roll down through a few areas and, and uh even catch some little fish, I know there's some fish in the area, I'll take it to today. I'm never seeing this area. I might have to just base tournament day off of looks, not catching, because tomorrow's the same thing. It's 70 degrees tomorrow, less wind, which is good. But, uh, you know, and then tournament day, it done kicks up and, you know, it's a nice day and goes back up into, you know, 83, 84 degrees, which I think will be the most active day for the fish. So, scouting today and tomorrow is more than just catching fish i think because i don't think they're gonna bite real well um, you know I, I could catch a 50 pounder right here in a second you know it's always possible We are hooked up, first fish of the day. You don't feel like a monster, but hey, I'll take them right now. Close to the same area, we had the last bike too. So that's interesting. He just feels like a little guy. Awfully white in color, he's pretty. Right. Yeah, the really pretty fish, he's a uh, really, really light in color. Got a little bit of blue on top, but the rest of them white means he's probably been down in deep water most of his life. But about 10 pounds. Hopefully, uh, we can catch him in a few more years and he weighs a little bit more. So, I had a hit not too far from where my last. When I did this run last time, I had a hit pretty close to it. So that's enough for me to uh, say we're gonna move up on out of this area. Um, this is a pretty big bend. We're gonna go check out the, the front of the bend, see what the water does there.
Wasn't sure if I had that fish or not, so <laughs> weird bite. Feels a little bigger than the last one. go right at 17 pounds big old belly on this fella so we're out here day two um, Tennessee, Tennessee River, geez, oh, beats Mississippi River. Um, so we've launched, we're pretty far upriver, so Cape Girardeau is our destination. That's where the tournament's at. We launched in New Madrid yesterday, which was roughly an hour downriver by road. Now we're about 30 minutes north above Cape Girardeau at another ramp, and these are pretty much the only two ramps that one of the two we're gonna launch at for the tournament because there's not a lot of ramps that are capable right now with how low it is. But uh, we did find this little little honey hole back here <coughs> that I was able to we we're able to launch at. But we're gonna take a good peek around this area and see what we can come up with, and then sit down tonight and figure out what we're gonna do for tomorrow. It might be on mic. Yes. I'll be there. Man. Yeah, but you're also fighting against all the current. Yeah. We don't. in the current holding here. <laughs> Wore me out. Yeah. 
So a 20 pounder we just bumped up it's been a pretty tough day but at least the two fish we caught were were, were decent fish Turned on the Over the 18, so he's right 19 ish, right in there. All right, oh. there you go, guys. Another nice 
chunky little fish. Good deal, we'll take it. Five pounds come back tomorrow well we made it back up to the ramp from where we were fishing at so we did catch a few fish today we caught them three and you know what you're probably not going to see in a video is how many short bites we had we had a bunch of fish come up and just grab the back end and that might be part of this cold front that's with through at least that's what we're hoping for um, with that you know tomorrow's supposed to be 85 degrees you know a little chance of rain in the morning then it warms up in the afternoon and we're kind of thinking it's gonna make the bite a lot better than it was today so what we're gonna do um, we're gonna fish that area it's actually you know we're gonna fish that area we found a ramp down farther down that way we can launch and be a lot closer because this was about 40 minute up river and uh, we're gonna work that area tomorrow and we're just gonna work the crap out of it and see if we can't get it get get a good bag so stay tuned we'll let you know how the tournament goes in the next video thanks thanks for tuning in guys